President Idi Umningagwa's bold promise, exciting news for Zimbabwean youths. President Emerson Umningagwa has expressed his commitment to creating a supportive environment for young Zimbabweans to innovate within their own country. During the National Research, Science, Technology and Innovation Conference in Harare, President Umningagwa highlighted that many developed nations rely on immigrants from developing countries to drive their economies benefiting from the talents and skills of bright individuals. He acknowledged that Zimbabweans abroad have excelled in various fields, but their achievements often credit the countries they reside in, rather than their country of origin. I think you all know that most of the developed countries, which we call the first world, most of the brains in those countries are not citizens. These countries go worldwide especially in developing countries scouting for bright boys and girls and bring them to their own institutions, he said. We have several Zimbabweans in America. The United Kingdom and Europe in higher places producing products and services of the highest quality, unfortunately the credit goes to those countries not to where the girl or boy was born. President Umningagwa emphasized the government's determination to establish innovation hubs at state universities, providing resources and funding for talented young people to dream, innovate, and contribute to national development. These innovation hubs would serve as platforms for transforming ideas into tangible projects or products, driving progress and economic growth within Zimbabwe. At every state university, Innovation hubs should be constructed and we as government will put funds so that our talented boys and girls can dream. Some of the dreams can translate into a project or a product of service. However other dreams will remain dreams, he said. To protect the intellectual property generated in the country, President Umningagwa highlighted the need for legal expertise to safeguard the outputs of research and innovation. By ensuring appropriate legal frameworks are in place, Zimbabwe can encourage and safeguard the creativity and innovations of its citizens. Vice President Constantino Chiwenga also addressed the conference. Advocating for the extension of Education 5.0 to primary and secondary levels. He emphasized the importance of early identification and nurturing of future scientists urging stakeholders to collaborate and develop a curriculum that aligns with President Umningagwa's vision. Additionally, Vice President Chiwenga called upon research institutions to join forces in supporting the country's economic transformation. President Umningagwa's commitment to fostering innovation within Zimbabwe reflects the government's recognition of the immense potential that lies within the country's youth. By providing the necessary resources, protection of intellectual property, and an education system that nurtures scientific talent from an early age, Zimbabwe aims to create an environment where young innovators can thrive and contribute to the nation's progress. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.